Time now for At the Market from Neiman's Family Market in St. Clair. At the Market is brought to you by CTV Community TV for Marine City in St. Clair and Ascension River District Hospital. Now let's join our host for this week's At the Market. Hi, and welcome to another episode of At the Market. Today, we have, I'm going to get this name right because it's such a pretty name, <laughs> Laura Tucker DeVries, and she's from the Ascension River District Hospital uh, Food and Nutrition Department. And already we've been surprised because we didn't know that we could just stop in and have a meal. You certainly can. Well, I think that's We are really preparing cool. gourmet food. Gourmet. It's a big secret. <laughs> but we're open, I'll just tell you a little bit about All our right. hours. Monday through Friday, we're open from 7.30 to 1.30, and we're serving breakfast and lunch. And then from 5 to 6, the cafeteria opens again, and you can order grill items or whatever you'd like. Mm -hmm. Saturday and Sunday, 11.30 to 1, mm -hmm. and then 5 to 6 on so Saturday and Sunday. if you're going in that direction, that makes it a, kind of a nice little stop to have a good breakfast and a good lunch. And another one of those multiple places that we look for in town to go have a meal. But I'm pretty sure pe most people do not know to go there. So this is just fascinating. Well, hopefully they will now. They do. So do you get a lot of people that come from outside or is it kind well, of Well, a, a lot of times it's the staff and it is, ah. you know, um, families mm -hmm. of the, the folks that are in. Mm -hmm. But as the word gets out, I've been there since January and I've been trying to like move it up a little bit and put some different ideas in there in the kitchen. And so I think a little bit more people are coming, but after today with you, I'm sure it'll be. Oh, it, we're just all going to go be. there for breakfast and lunch and That's then stop right. by for a dinner. Um, I think the other uh, kind of added benefit, of course, of this is that um, everybody has talked and I've heard people say how good the food is there. And I, I wouldn't have thought to then go try it out. I thought, well, you know, if you're ever there, you'll ha have the mm -hmm. opportunity to have really, really good food. Well, that's interesting. So what are, you, uh, what are you looking at making today? Well, today we are making an avocado shrimp salsa, mm -hmm. which I have made a couple times this summer already for family and friends. It's a big hit. It's very healthy. It's very fresh tasting, and what we're going to start with is um, 16 to 20 peeled and deveined shrimp, which normally uh, you would start off with raw, but through the magic of TV, they're cooked already. So, <laughs> I uh, so they're cooked. How did you? Cook I the sautéed shrimp? them. I uh, I marinated them in olive oil, salt, and pepper. Then I lightly sautéed them. I chopped them, and now they are marinating in lime juice. Mm. So we are going to go ahead, and this will be, of course, sold uh, or served cold. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead. I'm sorry. That way. And so how did you shrimp. get into all of this? Well, I have a long history of food service. My mom and my aunt had a restaurant when I was just a child, and most of my uh, adult jobs have been in the food service industry. I was a territory manager for U.S. Food Service. I worked for Roselli Foods as a sales rep. I put together a couple cookbooks. Oh, cookbooks. I have a food page on Facebook. <laughs> I'm a foodie, so it just comes kind of natural. So, so when you went, uh, to, how long have you been at uh, River District? I just started in January. So and you're I still love putting it. your fingerprints on it then. I am. Yeah, you want to bring something kind of new and fresh because this looks, I mean, this is, is slightly gourmet um, when you throw well, shrimp in and avocado in. That's what I'm in. trying to do, a little huh. bit. All Pick right, it so up what's, a little what's next? So then our next uh, ingredient would be some cucumbers that I have cut up there. And then we're going to add some diced tomatoes. This all goes in a certain... Oh, that's pretty. Very healthy and bright. Now nothing's in the cucumbers or the tomatoes. No, just these diced. are just right. And then we have some red onion. Which okay. adds really nice color. So so now far the only real sauce up. you have in there is maybe some of the olive oil that you marinated the shrimp in. Lime and the lime juice. juice. Yes, ma'am. Salt, pepper, lime juice, olive oil. So that's the overriding flavor right now. So a little olive oil which is healthy, the lime juice, which is healthy, and all the fresh vegetables and the peeled shrimp. You know, so we, we, we call it a salsa, but mm -hmm. I think a lot of times my guests will just grab a bowl and eat it that way. So we're just going to toss it a little bit like so. So how is that served at the, at, in the cafeteria then? Well, we would serve it with tortilla chips mm -hmm. and a boatload of hot <laughs> sauce, if you like hot sauce. So now I'm going to add some fresh cilantro. Mm -hmm which makes it really bright. It does. That's quite a bit of cilantro, That's enough too. right now. Right, yep, that's you it. Really, uh, you know, that gives it really di uh, deep flavor. It does. And last but not least, we're going to put in the fresh avocado because that's a little uh, delicate. So we're going to wait to the end for that. 
Oh, it looks delicious. We're going to toss it all together. In addition to being pretty, it is everything that we're supposed to be eating. A nice uh, Mediterranean diet. Avocado is the diet. best fat that we can eat. Mm -hmm. So And olive oil. And olive oil, yes. Oh, that looks very, very good. good. Thank you. So we're going to toss that up. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to have you try it. All right, so we have some chips here for you. I get to try it right now. If you'd like. I'd love to. Okay. I'd love to see how the flavors marinate. Okay, we just want to make sure we're all tossed yeah. up good. It's kind of a... Yeah, you, it, it's delicate to toss. Now, anybody could probably put this together at home. However, we don't want to do it at home. We want to go stop by. You're going to stop by the Ascension River District Cafeteria. <laughs> right, right. Come see Laura right. and Annetta. Right. And we have a fine staff there, a lot of, a lot of people that really care about their jobs. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a good group of people. All right, before we try this, though, I want to a little bit, a little bit more. What else can people stop by and eat? I mean, how complex are the meals that they could get? Well, at lunchtime, we put together a hot meal. We have, um, we have like four cycles of meals. Mm -hmm. um, and for example, we have like meatloaf, mac and cheese. We have fish. We have fresh tilapia. Mm -hmm. um, there's just a myriad of things that we have. Some days we kind of have fun and have coney dogs, chili dogs, and French fries and what have you. But it's always a well-balanced, a lot of choices, a lot of vegetables all the time. Mm -hmm. So it's so could a vegetarian eat there? They sure could. Mm -hmm. And we have a beautiful salad bar as well. And we have two soups every day. Like so what kind of soups? Well, that runs the gamut too. We have clam chowder, we have broccoli with cheese, we have chicken gumbo, mm -hmm. you name it. So you, that really does describe what kind of lunch and probably dinners mm -hmm. you can get there. So at dinner, you can get your soups, your salads, your main course. Do you have desserts as well? We do. Ah, you <clears throat> smiled. We do. We I know what that means. Desserts is not really my forte, but we have a couple gals there that love, the, love mm -hmm. doing them, and we have all kinds of pies and cakes and fruit mm -hmm. and different things that we so it offer. It sounds like so. a lot of comfort food in addition to being um, healthy, kind of like the things that maybe I would have eaten um, at home. Uh, every yes. night when I was growing up. Now yesterday I put together some seven layer salads if you're familiar with that with, yes. the, with the lettuce and mm -hmm. the peas and the, so those those went pretty good. Mm -hmm. I noticed they were gone when I went in today. So, mm -hmm. so you're but, getting a feel for what people want to eat. We and listen to what they say and they they tell us what they want and um, it's really kind of fun. Mm -hmm. So so tell me about your breakfast because around here there's a lot of retired people that go out and they meet for breakfast someplace. Okay. And I bet they've not thought to meet there for breakfast. Well, you know what? I very seldom am there during the day, but the breakfast in the morning, we have, it's like a buffet. We have sausage, we have bacon, we have, you know, scrambled eggs, we have, um, eggs to order, we have omelets, I mean, whatever you want, you can and, get. And what, the setting, what does the setting look like that people go, is it sterile and hospital-like or is it Oh, no, no, it's very, it's very friendly and warm and we have, we have a decorated kind of cute and there's flowers and Good. it's very cheery because we want it that way for the, the families of the folks that are in there. So sure, we, sure. we keep it pretty light and fun. Ah, well, that sounds pretty good. Mm -hmm. And the price range for um, meals there? Well, um, I think that if the guests if you are visiting someone and you want a meal, I think we charge six dollars plus tax, mm -hmm. and that includes your your drink, your soup, your wow. super salad, your entree, and a dessert if you'd like. So mm -hmm. that's pretty good, and everything is is very reasonably so priced. If I, so if I just stop by for lunch and I'm not there to visit a guest uh, in the hospital, I'm supposed to say I am there to visit a guest. No, <laughs> no, you, you can sure? just say you're, you're here to see us. You want to you want to experience the cafeteria. That's right. That's right. But then, so then, is that a different price? I'm just trying to. Well, we have them. like so many different things. Like I say, Got everything is, is priced individually. And okay. So it's a moderately priced place oh, to go for so. a meal. Oh, very much so. Yeah. Um, again, because I do know a lot of people that get together and meet for breakfast and lunch, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, they get together in a nice atmosphere to talk. And I bet you they haven't thought to go here. Like I say, the salad bar is phenomenal. We always have a ton of fresh things. Wonderful. I mean, a great, great variety of things. So we're just waiting for you to come in. All right, so. let me try a little bite of this. Okay. Um, I'm going I to tease everybody else. This is my very favorite is... Uh, Oh, you like? Isn't that a nice blending of flavors? I love cilantro, and often they don't put enough in. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Thank you. Oh, Excellent. It's very good. And healthy too. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. There's other people waiting, obviously, to try. 
thank you so much for coming thank today. You. It was very nice of you to come and show us all this and to let us know that there's another place that we can drift over and have a, a good meal here I in I appreciate you asking us, and um, we'd be happy to see all of you. And Come on over and that's, see us. Well, that's wonderful. Well, we're going to take a break now, and we'll be right back. I'm Dr. Lee Batcheldor, Chief Medical Officer for Ascension River District Hospital. I'm speaking to you on behalf of the hundreds of outstanding physicians, associates, and volunteers who provide personalized, compassionate, high-quality health care at our beautiful hospital on South River Road. We've been proudly serving this community for more than 50 years. Even more important, we plan to continue serving this community for a long time to come. Always remember that we are here when you need us, 24 hours a day, right here, right now, today and in the future. Welcome back. Well, we've got a really unusual guest for St. Clair today. This very tall, stylish man standing next to me is Alexander Zonchak. <laughs> and <laughs> I've never done a show with a watermelon. And I don't, know why we, I don't know why we have a watermelon You said we have an here, unusual but. guest. What is, what is that? <laughs> it's not the watermelon. Um, I'm lucky enough to have had many, many conversations with you, and so I've heard lots and lots of really right, funny stories. Any, any show prep. Um, you're, you're, I, yeah, I know. Loaded. I know stuff. And, uh, and it's been my pleasure, of course, to work with you for the last three years because you approached us and you said, I just love St. Clair. I want to do a Is concert. That That's exactly how it happened. And then someone said, Pat, you want to be on the committee? And I said, yeah. And so now you and I are putting on a, a big old uh, jazz fest. And we, it's a big old jazz fest. Big old right. jazz fest. But I also and approached you and I said, can we please do a jazz festival so that one day I can do a television store and a grocery store? <laughs> and I, I said, wanna, sooner than later, of course you can. Who am I, what am I, this is going to go into my bio. And I said, where else in the world could I be hosting a show? Me be hosting a show this. and have this you cool, as my guest. This is cool. Though. It is cool. So normally there are no there are no snacks in the green room. Look at this. If there's any snacks you want here, so anyway, Alexander. Let's talk about the big old jazz. The festival. big old jazz and you're festival. Right. I'm, I'm, that's sort of how it happened. Well, the idea kind of floated around. I did it real fast. I know the idea floated around. There was a, a, a young man who lives in Marine City, who works for me, Adam. Adam Busatil. Hmm. Adam knew Mitch. Yes, at Murphy's. And Adam, since he started to work with me, knew we do a lot of festivals. Mm -hmm. And when I talked to him about St. Clair, I said to Adam, he goes, Adam, they need a festival in St. Clair. And he said he would talk to his buddy Mitch. Hmm. So that's how the, that's so how. So Mitch it, called you and said, hey, yeah. Mitch called me and the rest is history. And I said, I, he said, uh, how do we get a jazz festival? Seriously, that's how it works. And the next thing you know, I'm meeting with you and the mayor. Yes, Mayor Bill Jim Cedar. Downey. Jim Downey. Uh, Annette Sturdy eventually uh, Annette Sturdy. at the city. We had to have a sturdy person in the that's, office. That's that's right. And it was, uh, but that's how it happened. It's so cool. Uh, it it so really cool. is cool because the first one happened. I mean, you said, "Yeah, let's see what we can do." And literally three months later, we put together a jazz festival, and it was a great success. I, the I first never time. I never saw anything move so quick. I, I didn't think yeah. it was going to happen. Yeah. After our first meeting. I, you remember there was a little bit of dialogue? Absolutely. And I kind of left there going, and you guys kept on talking about your festival, and I said, no, no, this is your festival, it's not mine. And I really wondered if it was gonna happen. Mm -hmm. And to everybody's credit, including Jim Downey, yes. who called up and said he spoke with uh, one of the, Mr. Moore? Probably, yeah, Frank Moore. Frank mm -hmm. Moore? Frank Moore. And, and then he said there's a, there's a buzz going on about it. I was I was just thrilled by it. So, um, we have a we have a town that really does support the arts, and so a lot of people came together that first year. Last year we had a little more time, and we got another good group together. Yeah. This year um, we have some phenomenal patrons of this event. Yeah. Um, Cargill Salt has yes. been a, a patron since the beginning. Um, the Community Foundation is a huge of patron Saint County. of St. Clair County. I know their name. They have stepped up. We wouldn't have a festival if it wasn't for them. But in addition to that, DTE yes. and, well, there's just, I don't want to yeah. leave anybody out because there's so many. Um, no, the St. Clair big, Inn has already stepped up. The yeah. St. Clair Inn said, yes, we're not open yet, but we want to be a part of it. Waste management, mm -hmm. um, the chamber. I am uh, the representative for the St. Clair Chamber of Commerce, and we that took this cool. on as well. Cool. Um, and then we have lots of local uh, businesses that said, yes, we yeah. want this to happen. And so it's happening again. Yeah. And the first year, did, what did we know? We, Remember I, I knew nothing. You? Everybody kept on asking me, how many people are going to be there? How many? I don't know how many people are going to be there. And my line was, which was true to form, mm -hmm. more than 500, less than 10,000. Yes. And that was true. And it was true. And the it first year, right out of the box, it was so successful. Although we did have rain. Uh, just a little at and the it, end. That's and, all I allowed. Well, but we lost our whole headliner. Yeah. 
So but in you know spite what? Of that, I never heard anybody complain necessarily, right. you know, about that because they'd had such a grand day. First of all, you mean that one person asked for the money back at a free festival? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but in addition to that, as you well know, people will always complain even if they didn't pay. No, a but nickel. they loved it. They the did. We have never had any complaints yeah. about that. Part of that is the setting. Tell us how you chose that setting. Well, I didn't choose it. Uh, uh, you know, I didn't come to town and build Palmer Park. No, you did not. But uh, but you had it, something in mind. I did. Palmer I did Park. because you know I, I do so many festivals. Right. And they're all on rivers and they're near lakes and they're in cities. You know, Jazz on the River, Elizabeth Park in Trenton, mm -hmm. right under the Detroit River. Mm -hmm. uh, river Raisin, right on the River Raisin. Uh, uh, Southfield, we're in that beautiful uh, city, right near the. So they all have great settings. Mm -hmm. Every single time someone bought me free food at the River Crab. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I've never paid to go to the River Crab. But every time I went there, I would pass your cool town, right. and I would say, you got to do a festival there. Mm -hmm. That's really how it happened. It does lend itself yeah. to that, and you I did choose so. one of the prettiest parts of that yeah. Palmer Park. Um, my favorite first year story is you were up there, and all of a sudden, two of our wonderful ships passed the f the perfectly, ships passed. perfectly behind and the, the stage. And the crowd stood up and gave the ships a standing ovation. That's right. I thought it was for me. It might have been a little bit. But you, you got to admit, where oh, it you, is a beautiful spot. Where do you it get is. that? Uh, it, you know? I, I tell everybody remember? there is no place prettier on earth. And I broke into uh, Gordon Lightfoot's uh, Edmund Fitzgerald. Remember? <laughs> you don't remember that, do you? I remember the ships pass. I just said, remember? No, I did no, that. you did not do that. No, I didn't do that. No, you didn't do but that. But I should have. Next time. Gordon Lightfoot's. Next you know, time. We share a lot in common, Gordon and I. How? How We're is Canadians. that? Canadians. Oh, Canadians. Oh, that's right. Yes, because Gordon I don't know that everybody knows you're Canadian. So every time you come here, you have to come across. And that's quite an excursion sometimes. You know, I don't want to waste my ink on Gordon Lightfoot. That's not why I'm here. Because <laughs> there's other Canadians. But I'm a huge fan. <laughs> I, really, I love that guy. But do you? I really do. And I love Lake Freighters. Huh. I like so that there, you, take that. I like that you know so many of these people, which is why you become a real valuable asset to us. Because we don't know any of these people and can't reach out oh, to, and to get them. Well, obviously, you don't know Harry Connick Jr. well enough. I don't know because Harry Connick. I'm waiting for you to get him I here. I knew Soupy Sales really but well. But talk about the people friend. you are. Oh, I but loved Soupy. I had lunch with Soupy every day. Oh, sorry. I Tell who's too. coming this year. Well, let's start with this is the third year. This is the third year. And, and if, you, if you back up just a little bit and you consider in our little three years, all of these incredible artists that we've already had. Mm -hmm. Huge Groove, who didn't perform. We did have Jeff Lorber once before. He's coming back with two special friends. Mm -hmm. uh, and you look at all those great Le Larry Lee and back in the day, mm -hmm. sure, and he's still dancing to that he guy. He is, he is. And, and the list just goes on. <laughs> and is. then second year, American Idol winner, Ruben mm -hmm. Stutter. Mm -hmm. Even if you didn't, even if you and I didn't even enjoy the performance, just hanging out with Ruben was a lot of fun. Well, and I got to drive him around in a yes. cart, so yes. that was a lot of fun. It I was. had dinner with him. <laughs> I would have had dinner with him, but we were so busy that night, you know. Have you seen Ruben Stutter? I have. You should have dinner with him. <laughs> he has dinner, and then he has an after-dinner dinner. You know what? I found him to be a very nice young man, and I told him his mother should be proud man. of him. And you know what he said? My mother is always proud of me. I thought that was very nice. He ordered everything on the menu, but thank you, come again. Oh. <laughs> I'm out of jokes now. God, I hope that Ruben's not watching this. But imagine that we had all it's these It's unlikely, other. but... Third year, yeah. crowds keep growing. They do. The PR gets bigger and bigger. It, you know, I've already started my season, as you know, mm -hmm. and everywhere we go now, is St. Clair back, is St. Clair back. That's I'm not exactly. making that up. And if we, oh, I'm getting my phone calls. And we've already. also accomplished a very big geographic question because we have convinced a lot of people in the Metro Detroit area that St. Clair is not St. Clair, Clair Shores. Shores. That's right. You know? That's right. More of my phone calls that first year were get back in your car and go yeah. 20 minutes more north on I-94. How sweet is that, though, Susan? That so many people discover this. Because that's the magic I get out. Seriously. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth Park in Trenton is beautiful. Nobody knew about it. Mm -hmm. I remember when I started a festival in Trenton, they said, you're going to do jazz in Trenton? Same thing with St. Clair. They mm -hmm. said, where is it? Why are you there? And the minute they come and check it out, hang out in your beautiful town, mm -hmm. You know, go to the Voyager, mm -hmm. see the pictures of the lake freighter that almost ran right into the that's Voyager. That's right, that's right. And, seriously, and, magic. And we, magic. And that's kind of the point. We know that that day is an introduction to a lot of people, it and is. then they come back. And of course, that's what we want. We want people to come yeah, back to our yeah. city. We want to share the beauty of our little town and uh, also see this music. And for our locals, we want our locals to have an opportunity yeah. for free 
to yeah. see a music that they might not know well, they really like. Well, you always want to tell people that. Yes, yeah, it's, it's very free. And, and then once there, we've got all kinds of good food that's right close and local, but also there's other places you they do. can walk. You to, even to have the, a Tim Hortons. We do. Do you know what that means to a Canadian? Canadians, yes. You have no idea. <laughs> that's, that's one of the our only imports. The only missing is uh, hockey pucks. That's hockey our imports. Sticks. Yes, that's right. Hockey, uh, Tim Hortons? Yes, that's right. You guys all know who Tim Horton was, right? Right. You all knew, right? You, all know, you know, right? He was I a hockey saw, player. Yes. Died I, you told me in a that. car accident. Yeah, you told me that. Okay, I'm not here to talk about Tim Horton. <laughs> but I will say, in speaking with Dan, you know, I spoke with Dan yes. Lockwood. Mm -hmm. And when you start to talk about this and he starts filling me in, I mean, seriously, when you. Oh, start, he knows everything. But seriously, Marine City, the theater that's mm -hmm. coming here, I, and I kept on making my comparisons to Stratford, Ontario, right. where some farmer decided to do world class theater and look right. what's happening. And then Niagara on the Lake. You ever been yes. to the Shaw Festival? Absolutely. I see this whole region culturally being. We do too. Being the same. Um, there are a lot of people that are, that's their vision for this community right, right. and that it will run from Marine City up to Port Huron and yeah. that this will be a destination for everybody. And in the middle of that will be our jazz festival. So Just give me free rooms at the St. Clair Inn for the rest of my life. That's all I want. I'll, I'll send this and make sure he Is sees that. Is that Kotowski guy watching this? Jeff? I'll, I'll send it to him by email, make sure, because I want one too. <laughs> that's good. No, honestly, I am thrilled. Yeah. And you know the lineup? Um, I do. Joey Somerville is coming in from Atlanta, amazing trumpet player. Uh, you're going to love Urban Jazz Coalition. They're from Columbus, Ohio. And they, they already have fan bases. Their mm -hmm. friends are coming. Uh, they're coming in from Columbus, Ohio. Lindsay Webster is one of the hottest singers in the country right now. She's amazing. Uh, she lives in New York. She's coming in. Uh, you got a Serbian flute player coming in. Yes, Although he's yes. Canadian, he's coming all the way in. Yes, I heard he was Canadian. And, and he's he's an actually import. from Montenegro. Oh. Yeah. One of the... One of the other countries that your president has insulted in recent memory, <laughs> the Montenegrins. <laughs> Why would he do that? Don't nice take people. it to heart. Don't take it to We're heart. Nice people. Did you see him push our king aside you, at that one meeting? You know what? You're in good company, okay. <laughs> so don't worry about it. And then Jeff Lorber is coming back. Since he was here a couple years ago, he has won a Grammy. Mm -hmm. And he's bringing uh, Paul Jackson Jr. with him, one of the great guitar players in America. He plays on American Idol. He makes his own records brilliant guitar player, Everett Harp, who aside from being an amazing saxophone player, Everett Harp is a bodybuilder. Oh. No, seriously, he comes in like this. I'm, I'm not making Will that I up. be his security? No, no. <laughs> At one point in the middle of his show, he throws protein shakes out to the crowd. Ah. I oh, made cool. that up because, because we're in a grocery store. Yeah. That's right. So, you know, people won't notice that we're in a grocery store. It's just backup, you know. Yeah, well, <laughs> What are you talking about? I got a watermelon in yeah, front of me? Yeah, don't look at that. What do you got? You got to be kidding me. You're, That's is, your co-host. You really want to live in St. Clair, so this is where you would shop. Who is so. that guy right there? I, Remember Wilson? Remember that movie yes. with Tom Hanks? Remember I have Wilson? no idea what that's doing there. Yeah. That's, but, that's Melonhead. We're going to let I'm you sorry. do a much longer interview with um, Paul Dingham. This wasn't long enough? <laughs> no, this was just for fun. He's Pat, got questions. Pat, you, I'm telling you guys are great with this. You know, when people come and they see something that big, seriously, and they, they probably go home and think like that 400 people are working on this. Uh, and you know what a small group we have. It is. It's a nice and, small group. And, and it works so cool. We're going to make, make it a little bigger. But. Mark my words, if we stick to, I'm not making this up, I'm just not a pitch, everybody. In five years and then 10 years, it's going to be Seriously, because I see it at the other places. I, I, you know, I think that's what people are expecting. Absolutely. And, and Alexander, we give you credit for Don't. having a vision uh, that you could attach to our little yeah. town. Because that's one of really the few nice. cities in America where I can get credit. <laughs> we'll, we'll let you have I'm some running of the out of credit. material. <laughs> we'll Pat, let, thank you so much. You no, know this is going to be great. I do know it's going to be. I can't wait. Can you tell them how to, how to find out about it? Or yes. Is if, there a website? Yeah, there is a website. You can, uh, St. Clair Chamber, uh, dot com. Uh, we'll have something on there, but really what you need to do is just call me and my, I don't have my glasses. You're going to ask Melonhead any questions? As, 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 wait, wait, I don't have my glasses. Say the number. Oh, there's a phone number You're not there? helping. Here, tell me what the number is to my office right there. I, I don't have any glasses. I can't. Oh, good God. <laughs> call me at my office, 810-329-2962 or Annette at the city, 810-329-7121. And we can help you with any of your questions that you might have. But, um, can we get a laser eye surgeon as a, yes. as a sponsor for next year? I don't know. Somebody I don't want to wear my eyes done. <laughs> that would be so cool. Mm. You know, as long as one of us has a pair of glasses, we're all set. So, thank you so this much for joining us. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. Next week is uh, Big, River Big River Barbecue. Please join us for that the as well. The meat counter is going crazy right now. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> so are the produce people. They're clapping here. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're.
funny. You've been watching At The Market from Neiman's Family Market in St. Clair. At The Market is brought to you by Ascension River District Hospital and CTV Community Television for Marine City and St. Clair. Join us again soon for another At The Market.